Bloody Yacht meets Sueño. She's a, a Trinity built yacht, 190 feet in length. She's got a total living space of 7,000 square feet, which is quite impressive. This yacht has a total of four decks. On the main level, we have the main salon, which is the biggest area on board the yacht, which has a huge grand table that seats 14 people. And we have the uh, main master cabin with owner's office. The master cabin is very spectacular. It's enormous with his and hers bathroom, a large closet, a whirlpool tub in her bathroom, split level, you've got a separate seating area and the actual bed itself is raised up on a split level where you can see out through panoramic views of the ocean. This yacht has four other guest cabins and a VIP cabin as well. This yacht also has an elevator, it has a garage and it also has a wine cellar in the main salon. So those are certainly very unique uh, features. Other living areas, the most popular is up on the bridge deck. We have a sky lounge. We can head up then to the sun deck. Obviously, one of the key features is having the capability of landing a helicopter. We have a basketball hoop up there, so you can shoot some hoops. The deck is so large. And on the same deck, we have a large table. We have a barbecue. We also have a jacuzzi and a splash ball and a large sunning area. Helicopters are becoming more and more popular on board yachts, but they're still very rare. It's amazing that the kind of toys that these clients would like, but what would they use them for? They would use them to just get to the yacht in style, miss the traffic. They might fly their jet into the airport and then jump in the helicopter and then they're on board their yacht. Also, yachting is a very, very private industry. We have celebrities on board sometimes and, and they don't want to be bothered with the paparazzi. So the helicopter is another great option to get clients on board without the wandering eye. The mega yacht industry was affected by the crash in 2008. Things slowed down, obviously people were reluctant to spend money, but they still had it. But the yachting industry is coming back in a huge way right now. Yachts are being sold, bought, and also most of the yards within the world are very, very busy.